okay everyone today we are going to study and learn how to install java or jdk in ubuntu 16.04 remember that the same method can be applied for some of the other versions of linux operating system say for example if you want to install in ubuntu 14.04 the same steps can be applied but before we start let us check if uh, we have java install in our computer or not fine for that we need to go for go in terminal in terminal we just need to write java c minus version fine here you can see that the program can be found in the following packages if you find this type of n message that means java c is not installed on your ubuntu operating system but if you want to go for more you can see that the same error occurs for java command also fine so let me clear this command now today we are going to install it so first and foremost thing that we need to do is update the repository as usual fine uh, this repository will get the latest uh, things from the internet and update the ubuntu repository from internet itself M meanwhile it gets updated i'll just pause it for a moment okay friends so it got updated but let me show you one more thing that uh, i got an error in uh, updating it so here it was the error uh, it says but some data was ignored due to errors fine when i just started updating so after it got an error it says that please run this manually in the command fine if you if you find some of the problems then you can um, run this command as i did it over here fine and then uh, you can see some of the things have been automatically set up uh, if you find th such type of an error please do use the steps of commands which is suggested by operating system itself you see it's very easy so now let us start with some of the commands that i would like to share it with you so for example if you want to install uh, default jre because if you do not want to install JDK but you just want to install a JRE find Java runtime environment so this is the command find, um, in just a second let me clear some screen so chunk of data can be removed sudo apt get install default JRE fine I'm not going to press enter fine because I do not want to install default JRE you can also install the whatever the default uh, jdk is available on internet for you people but i'm not going to suggest the same thing for you people because there are a lot of versions available in uh, internet that you can install one of the version is uh, open jdk 7 fine open jdk 7 as a gi if you want to install open jdk 7 fine then you can use this command as a JRE or you can also use open JDK 7 fine uh, along with JDK itself fine but this is the world of an Oracle Java right now and Oracle Java uh, Java has been taken over by the Oracle so I would like to suggest that if you can install Oracle Java uh, instead of an, any of the other versions and it would be much 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 better fine for that you need to install some of the things such as python software properties fine. so i'm going with this method to install oracle java with python software properties so mind well this uh, this step is not important but, uh, for installing python software properties right now okay. but still let's see what happening it says approximately 43 MBs of data is going to be getting downloaded. Uh, going to pause for some time. After that, we will reach out for other moments of installation. Okay, friends. So you can see we are on the verge of installation. Uh, it's getting installed. Uh, installing. Mm, just a second. Uh, you can see over here some of the errors has occurred because uh, when I encountered file Firefox was open 
I don't know what might be the problem has been started. Hmm. Okay, so Python property actually installed, uh, uh, tried to install Firefox over the Linux itself, but it, the problem is that my Firefox was already opened over here, it could not get installed. So it was trying to even upgrade my Firefox, so right now I'm going to ignore that error. Fine. Uh, let's go ahead with uh, my installation after getting installed in Python property mind well that you sh uh, Before firing this command your Firefox should be opened and uh, other properties should be also uh, clo I mean Firefox should be closed and other properties should also be closed fine uh, the Another command that I would like to suggest you people for installation that is step 2 is uh, let me clear it and type it it's sudo apt-get uh, add repository for java this repository is for oracle java right now find this step is very much important and you have to do this thing it says that you can install oracle java 9 also if you want it explicitly but oracle java 9 actually is right now early release access that means it's in beta version you can also install the oracle java 8 as a full version but uh, if you want you can install oracle java 9 from the same repository i will also show it to you meanwhile if you want it and uh, um, might happen that oracle java 9 has released as a full version then you can also install it as a full version also but i'm not suggesting it right now uh, but before that let me explain you this command if you want to install oracle java 6 as an installer then you can do this uh, you can type this command if you want oracle java 7 then you can in type this command if you want oracle java 8 then you can type this command and if you want oracle java 9 that is beta version earlier access you can type this command but, uh, but if uh, in some day in some time uh, early access has been removed and Oracle has announced that Oracle 9 has been in the market with a full version support then you can also download that thing but right now I recommend Oracle Java 8 fine so I'm going to press enter but um, let me clear the screen and then press enter so it's pretty much clear paste with Oracle Java 8 so I'm going to install Oracle Java 8 step by step. Okay, so it has it says no installation candidate. Just a second, let me see what happened. Okay, so it says that uh, uh, there is no installation candidate because after uh, okay after um, adding repository, we needed to update our repository as usual. Fine. So let's update our repository in few minutes it will get re um, updated let's see okay it's uh, it got updated now we can install oracle java 8 okay so here you go i'm going to install oracle java 8 fine it asked me about that it will uh, download some of the things from the internet i say yes you can download it and make it done these are some of the stuffs it's now asking me it's uh, oracle java binary code license agreement i'm as usual it doesn't have any options so clicking on ok also i accept the binary code license terms fine so do not forget to click on yes over here and it will slowly and steadily uh, have some movements for downloading the stuffs let's see what's happening next is going to download some of the things okay so as and when it gets downloading the things i'll just pause for some moments uh, and then okay so here you can see it is getting downloaded approximately 173 mbs of data so it's quite going to take a while for downloading 
uh, things right so going to pause for some time and we'll be coming back after some okay friends so here you can see uh, it's on the verge of getting downloading everything that is um, approximately 95 percent of the things has been actually downloaded up till now uh, i'm going to show you some of the logs over here fine in 28 27 seconds this is how it actually got downloading the things uh, it says once again let me remind you 173 mbs of the things which it got downloaded from the internet this is the same case in the windows also if you want to install java from windows or in windows uh, it you need to download exe file from its website the same thing has happened over here it's it has downloaded the same uh, files and right now it's getting installed without even interrupting or anything fine in windows you need to click on next next and do the neat fools fine for right now it's going to just a second okay so it says that browser plugin has been installed over here and the error which is shown over here is due to firefox which is not get it updated um, anyways it doesn't make any difference if, you, if the firefox has not got updated let's take if version has been completed you can see it's 1.8 version that is 8 is uh, java 8 is installed over here again java c minus version let's see if c is set okay so the version of java c is also now installed the next foremost thing you have to do is set an environment variable so you need to go for where is java the path is over here also where is java c it will show you certain path now uh, let's see if it's available or not somewhere in user or leap okay, so here we go with uh, where the java should be located so i'm going to files menu um, then I'm going to computer, uh, to user, to lib, fine, you can see over here, fine, then JVM, then Java Oracle, here it's uh, actually installed, fine, and this is Java Home, right now, and in JRE, this is Java, uh, JRE Home, so we need to set both the path as a path variable, and uh, JRE home and Java home fine so let's do it gedit slash etc slash environment variable uh, this is the file that wherein you can set your environment fine uh, let's type it java underscore home equal to something and jre underscore home equal to something fine uh, so for this First, let's uh, set Java Home. I'm going to press Control L, fine, and then Control C, or you can also copy from here, fine, and then paste it. Mind well, you do not have to put this thing over here. Just keep it simple as it is described over here in the tutorial. In JRE, Control L, Control C, and Control V, fine, and if for any query you need to also set java home fine uh, as a path variable then you need to uh, in windows a semicolon is the separator for this thing we are going in linux it is colon separated so i'm going for slash bin bin should be in uh, small letters because uh, linux is very case sensitive uh, operating system so here you can see bin is in small letter so we need to do that uh, you can see java and java c commands are available here itself so not a big problem so this is how we set and do not worry about the message these are just an exception that is warning to be shown over here um, now i'm going to close it and this is temporary command on to upgrade your path variable fine now it should work with java c and java 
okay echo dollar java underscore home let's see if it's working okay yes it's working echo dollar java underscore uh, sorry not java jai underscore home okay so here you can see it's working also uh, path variable you can see it's working fine but before it uh, should work you need to fire this command every time unless and until you need a restart or log out from the session fine why so because environment very uh, environment file only gets loaded once you just log out or log in or in any case you restart your computer for the first time only you need to do that thing and then after you do not need this command to refresh your path variables fine this is just for demo right now i'm showing it to you this is not necessary after installing the java you can uh, either log out and log in back or from here okay from here you can log out or log in or you can restart your computer just for a sake fine uh, thank you all for watching but yeah uh, yeah thank you all for watching this tutorial meet you some other in some other tutorials too fine keep watching my videos thank you all